Hi, I'm Ivan, a software engineer at Google working on the Agent Development Kit. Today, we're tackling one of the challenges in bringing AI agents from a prototype to a reliable production application. To do that, I am thrilled to be joined by a special guest, the CPO and co-founder of Arise AI. They are leaders in the Gen AI observability space, helping teams across the industry ensure their AI systems perform reliably in the real world. Welcome, Aparna. Thanks for having me. It's definitely a topic we're passionate about at Arise. Today, we'll be walking through how to observe and evaluate AI agents. Now, before we dive into the code, I'd love to set the stage. From your perspective at Arise, why has observability become such a critical top of mind conversation for every Gen AI developer? Great question. For decades, traditional software had clear deterministic paths. You could use logs and step through debuggers to follow the logic. But LLM-powered agents are fundamentally different. They're non-deterministic systems with complex, emergent behaviors. These agents can just fail in unpredictable ways. And you're no longer just debugging code. You're debugging tools, prompts, reasoning, and more. Observability provides the instrumentation to see the agent's behavior so you can move from, I hope this works, to, I know how this works. This is foundational practice for building trustworthy AI agents. Now, that's a perfect framing. That's also exactly how we built ADK from the ground up. We provide plugins and callbacks so that developers can inspect all the actions by the agent, such as LLM and tool calls. We were designing for ease of understanding the what and the how. Models, tools, and sub-agents all have built-in before and after callbacks making them easy to see and control so developers can focus on the unique business logic that matters, not the boilerplate. And that's where our open source tool, Phoenix, will help developers know more about how their agents operate. It can run locally on your machine as well as in the cloud, and it lets you trace, evaluate, and iterate on your agent. Teams use it to debug where their agent is not performing well, evaluate both offline and online, and iterate in minutes not ours. So let's make this tangible. I'm going to walk you through the entire developer experience, from the agent built with ADK to the few lines of code needed to integrate Phoenix, and finally, to running the agent and analyzing the live traces in the UI. So let's pull up the financial advisor agent built with ADK. Its purpose is to help users research stocks. It's built with a multi-agent system with specific sub-agents for stock and risk analysis. These sub-agents have tools for fetching stocks and PE ratios. You can actually check out this example online on the ADK Samples GitHub repo. Now, let's say I'm iterating on this agent, and now I want to see how it's doing under the hood. How can I use Phoenix for that? Great question, and it's actually surprisingly simple, and that's by design. ADK is a supported integration with Phoenix. First, teams just need to create an account in Phoenix, and then we just need to instrument our agent with a few lines of code that you can see in our native integration here. Uh, we just need to import Phoenix, which is over here, Google ADK, as well as Open Inference, which is just the open telemetry conventions for Genia. Then we configure a standard tracer provider to trace the application. And we just pass this tracer directly into the ADK agent's constructor when we initialize it. Now we hop into Phoenix, where we can actually see the traces show up in the platform. I see you're using open telemetry, which is a widely adopted standard. Do you have an opinion on why building an open standards is important? Yeah, I think it's super important. Open standards create a common language for tools to communicate. We designed open inference to be OTEL compliant for Gen AI applications. And because ADK even emits open telemetry traces, you're able to send that data to Phoenix easily. Well, let's show a demo. So here we have the ADK financial advisor agent. And I'm going to kick this off. And the agent says, you know, provide the market ticker symbol. So I'm going to go ahead and ask, what's a good trading strategy for Apple, Google, and Microsoft? So the financial coordinator, it looks like, kicks off a couple different data analyst agents, and the agent kind of kicks off some work to go and answer my question. 
So while the agent's working, what's actually happening under the hood is that all of the actions it's taking is getting traced and streamed directly into Phoenix. So I can go in here and I can see the actual live traces coming in as the agent's kind of doing its work. Well, that's great. I'm gonna try a different question right now. I'm gonna ask, um, what's the stock price for Google? Okay, looks like the agent responded, but this time it just said it cannot fulfill that request. Hmm. Hmm. I, I'd love to inspect what the model's thinking under the hood to see where it went wrong. My first instinct would be to add a print statement in the after model callback, and that way I can log what the model's thinking. That's exactly what Phoenix enables for LLM applications. It shows all of the steps that the agent took. So we can actually go in and compare the two different queries side by side. Let me go in and show the first one. And you can see here that very clearly all of the different agent calls that are happening under the hood and the tool calls, the LLM calls, all the agents. And I'm gonna compare that to the one where it actually didn't answer the question at all. And here, basically, the agent called the LLM, but there wasn't actually any subsequent tool call. Mm -hmm. This process that we're actually doing right now, where we're going through, we're looking at and inspecting the traces, this process is called error analysis. And what's really interesting is that, you know, there is no bright red error flag on the screen. Actually, the code ran without any exceptions. The bug is actually in the logic. We see the agent, you know, called the LLM, but it didn't call the tool call. But, you know, it's not really a, a true error in the actual execution of the application. Mm -hmm. Now, as these applications process more data and you get more traces, the developers might not have time to go for each of them. So how would you recommend teams debug their agents at scale? Yeah, great question. I mean, this is the, the biggest reason for evals. Evals help you understand how the outputs of the application that you're building actually are. And there's typically two types of evals. There's offline evals and then there's online evals. Online evals are critical once the application goes live into production. They help evaluate the output and identify where there can be improvements. Offline evals are used during experimentation. So you can think about it almost like unit testing. You use offline evals before the application's shipped. So what I'm going to do today is, you know, because our agent's live, I'm going to go ahead and run some online evals and evaluate the outputs. So let's go ahead and do that. So today what we're using is actually the answer correctness eval. Mm -hmm. It's using LLM as a judge to evaluate the output of the application to see if it actually answers the user's question. Yeah, I see that we have many rows of traces and we have labels depicting whether the judge thought the answer was sufficiently answered by the agent according to the user's question. Let's look at one of the incorrect ones. Looks like that Phoenix has provided an explanation, which is LLM generated, that tells us the agent was unable to retrieve the stock ticker data for some reason. Now, perhaps it's missing a tool to do so. We won't fix it now, but at least we have a good starting point. With Arise, what we're really seeing is that by adding just a few lines of instrumentation code to your agent, we get a production grade debugging experience. I think this collaboration highlights something important. ADK is open source and extensible, so projects like Phoenix can build seamless first party integrations. And we're really excited to be a part of it. A great framework makes it easy to build, and a great observability tool makes it easy to iterate and improve. The two really go hand in hand. This combination is actually how teams go from a cool demo to a reliable production-ready AI application that they can confidently ship to users. So to bring it all home, Google's ADK gives you a powerful, scalable framework for building agents. And Arise Phoenix gives you the critical visibility you need to debug, iterate, and perfect them. You can run Phoenix locally or check out Arise AX or Google Cloud Trace. To try everything we did today for yourself, Check the link in the description to the ADK documentation, the open source Phoenix project on GitHub, and the financial advisor agent code we used today. We can't wait to see what you build.
Phoenix is a community-driven project, so please give us a star on GitHub, open an issue, and let us know what you think. Thank you so much for joining and sharing your expertise. This was fantastic. And thank you all for watching. Be sure to tell us in the comments what you're building next. We'll see you in the next one. And until then, happy building. Happy debugging.